So today, this is the first of a series, seven minutes. This lesson right here is called Busting the Prompt. And the reason I want to do it this way is because for all your students, all your friends who are not here today, I'm going to upload this to my YouTube account, then put a link onto the hub so that way they can go ahead and get this lesson as well. All right. So when you take the star two or star one in 12 days, depending on what you have to take, my suggestion is the very first place you go is to the writing point. Right, because you're the freshest at that moment. And this is gonna what this is gonna be what's gonna take the most time. Plus, for my students who think that they're just gonna do the multiple choice and perfect it out and not do the writing, you're still not gonna pass. So you have to do the writing. Right. But the problem with the writing is the biggest problem is you have to know what to write about. Right? And that's what we call busting the prompt. This is what your writing prompt is gonna be like. It's gonna say English two persuasive prompt. It's gonna say read the information in the box below. And it's gonna have a box, and usually there's a quote in here. I've left this one blank so that way you can see, but usually there's going to be a quote. It's going to, and you know it's a quote because it has quotation marks, and then it says who said it, right? Then it's going to say think about, and the think about is going to be something that is kind of connected to the quote, maybe not, but this is what's most important. It's going to say write about. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to underline what it tells you to write about, right? So you're going to underline that, and you're going to make sure that you address that specific thing. A lot of my kids will read about what's in the box and write about that. And that may not be what they're asking you to write about. So what I say is after you underline what you're supposed to write about, the very next thing you should do is at the very bottom of the paper, write the word position statement and then write what you're supposed to write about. Okay? So let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> For example, this is just a writing prompt that I got from uh, Paraline ISD. Right? It says, consider the following quotation, the educated man in mind and not in morals is to educate and administer society. This was said by Theodore Roosevelt. It says, Texas, House, Texas Law House Bill 1942 gives a school permission to discipline students who bully other students, even if the bullying occurs off school property, i.e. on Facebook, through text messaging, emails, and at somebody's house, etc. Okay. Write an essay stating your position on whether or not schools should have the right to discipline students who bully others off of school property. Right, so this is something that's really near and dear to my heart because a lot of my kids end up getting into this Facebook wars and then they bring it here. Right. So what this is asking us, we see the read, right? Sorry. We see the think, right? But this is what's important, the write. And it's right, it's asking you, it's basically asking you to write an essay stating your position. So you gotta pick one side on whether schools can discipline kids who bully off campus or schools should just stay out of it. All right, so the very first thing you have to do is that you have to pick a side, all right? So what I like to tell my students is to kind of just kind of brainstorm, right? And when you brainstorm, you just kind of say yes, no. And then you give your reasons, right? You give your reasons why, so real fast, what are some reasons? Why should we dis Why should we uh, discipline students who work, who bully outside of campus? Because most bullies, because most bullies don't happen on school. Okay, most stuff doesn't happen on campus. Okay. The person who's being bullied might not tell anyone at school because they might be too scared to tell it at home. Okay, might not tell. Good. What else? What's another reason we should monitor stuff off campus? Or, or, or discipline bullying happens might on campus. Get bad bullying. Huh? It might get bad bullying. What do you mean? It may turn into a what? It may turn into a fight, right? Okay, so now, here's another one. So let's just go no real fast. Why should the school not look at your Facebook, not look at your stuff? Privacy. Privacy. Right? What else? Why should they not? Eh, it goes to privacy. All right, so let's let's just stop right there, right? So for me, if I was writing this paper, I'm looking at yes versus no. Look, I have more reasons for yes, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna write that they should. So then I'll come down here at the very bottom, and I'll say, schools should be able to discipline students who bully off campus because most doesn't happen on campus, and it might not. Uh, they might not tell, and that's it. And that's where we're going to stop today because uh, I still had some time, but I didn't have time in class. I still had two minutes to go, but 
Um, I'll continue to work on stuff like this. All right, thank you.